Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Cyberpunk video. That's right, we're back at it again with another amazing iconic weapon that you can get called the Piss Dance. And today, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do in order to pick it up. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started. Now, we want to pick this up in a gig called Spy in the Jungle. Now, in order to get this, you want to have to first meet Mr. Hands for the second time. This quest will pop up after that. Now, for the very first part of this quest step, you need to head to room 203 at the Paradise Motel. Hotel Holiday Inn. <laughs> now, once you make your way over here, they're going to give you the deets on the quest. And you're going to have to go to the Oregon Topia. Or Tapia, however you want to say it. But you make your way over here. There's going to be a ton of enemies, a whole bunch of skags. Make your way inside of here and open up this nice little vent. You need to force open it with three. I think everybody should have that. Head over here and connect with the terminal link. After that, you're going to get greeted by somebody called Mark Banna. They'll tell you to proceed into the next area, which is the museum hall. Now over here, there's a ton of enemies. You can sneak through here or you can take them on head on. But once you make your way up to the door, you're going to have a boss that spawn in. His name is Boris Ribikov. Now, after you finish taking out this guy, he's going to drop an iconic weapon. But if you don't take him out right away, he's going to jump up to the top and start sniping at you, disappearing. It's a pain in the ass. So basically, if you have a Sandy, once he drops back in and you start this boss fight after you hit that door, hit the Sandy, drop down, and take him out. That's the best way to do it. He's going to drop the Piz Dead. Now this is an iconic tier 5 submachine gun, a smart submachine gun, which gives some pretty good headshot damage multiplier, and it has built in silence, and the longer you fire it, the more crit shot chance you're going to get. And also, once you hold it to the side, it's a burst. Once you shoot it normally, well, it's going to shoot single shots, which is very interesting for a submachine gun. So I took it over here to Pacifica. My favorite place to try out weapons and uh, yeah, here are the results. Like I said, it's it's a really good weapon. Burst firing rate once you shoot it in ADS, it's it's much better. Firing single shots is cool too, which means you can have a submachine gun that can shoot precision shots. So I decided let's give it a little bit more of a go and head down to the next set of enemies and pop the Sandy. Now after I pop the Sandy, you can see the burst fire is really good. Of course, we're getting a little boost from the Sandy as well. And uh, yeah, it's a really cool submachine gun. So if you're looking for a new tech submachine gun inside of Phantom Liberty, I showed you how to get it and all you have to do is get out there and add it to your collection today. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpo Game. Upload a wide variety of videos ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news and a whole lot more. So once again, thanks for watching everybody. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.